All right, everybody. Here we are. We got LT. Just put us up for the whole entire weekend. Unfortunately, he's got to drop us off in the rain. <laughs> but through hikers, through hikers. So here we go. We're going to get back to trail. Mile 150.9. Heading north. Thank you so, so much, everybody. LT's FT extravaganza. <laughs> Happy trails, y'all. Do it. All right, everybody. Here we are. Scott Driver. Uh, Martin Luther King Day, January 15th. Um, we have waited out the rain, watched a couple of episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender. We are heading over here. Um, it's almost maybe 5 o'clock. Um, been here about an hour and a half. And the rain is supposed to stop at 6. So we're just gonna head this way. Hopefully this doesn't catch up. And that is the name of the game. Oh, y'all. Y'all see the new purple boys? They ready. They is absolutely ready. We done trial tested them all weekend. Them is the ultra temps for. Um, I've had a pair of these before. Uh, super comfortable. I just never really liked hiking in them. Um, but since we're really doing more walking, I went ahead and grabbed a pair because I really, really enjoyed them for, you know, everyday walking use. I took them on a hike and did not enjoy them in the backcountry. Um, but this is pretty much paved roads or nice, nice single track. So I think these shoes should be awesome. And we're going to go ahead and give them a shot. Heading north. All right, everybody. Here we are taking a little break here at mile 153.3. Um, we're probably about three, yeah, three, three miles in to our day, to our hike. And if you see behind me, it's getting ready to pour down. And in front of us, it's pretty nice. So we've ran what, from what we could. So now what we're doing is taking a break right here, letting it catch on up, and then we just gonna hike during the rain because it's supposed to stop raining, um, or at least slow down on the forecast or on the uh, radar. It looks like it'll slow down in about an hour. So we'll take a break right now. We've been hiking for an hour. Take a little break. Let the rain catch up. Hike in the rain for an hour. And then set up camp. Um, so everything doesn't get soaked. Because there is a leak in the seam seal of my Gossamer Gear tent. Which they have sent me a new tent. Which we'll be picking up tomorrow at the post office. Which we would have today. But Brother Martin had a dream. So, that dream is causing us to wait on a couple of things, and we're going to get hiking. All right, everybody. First night hike of the Florida Trail. We were walking along the Kissimmee River. I think it's about to rain pretty hard in a second. It would be nice to just set up the tent <coughs> and just wait in the tent, but once again, leaky seam seals, so we'll walk it out, let the storm pass on by. It is seems to be here right about now. We're six miles in. We're only gonna have three for the morning or the remainder of the evening. All right, everybody. Here we are, nice spot under the palms last night at station S65E. There's the uh, gatekeeper right there, or the lock keeper, what they call them. This is a lock right here. They let the boats in and out. Um, of the river to the dikes. Um, I think this is an old path here. 
that's an even older path over there. Uh, but we just camped out right here. It was flat. We stayed dry. Um, the trail is right up here to the left, and we'll be walking um, 1.3 miles to um, the freeway. The freeway is 70. Um, the post office is also on 70, so we should have a um, easy hitch right into the post office. We will get a new Gossamer Gear, the two, um, a new tent pole because my trekking pole broke. Um, and a couple of other items um, I'll let you know once I get to the post office. But that is the start to the day. We got 50 cow about to get out the tent. We'll pack up and roll out. Give you a holler in a few. All right, everybody. We got a little bit of blue up ahead. Things starting to clear up a little bit. We got a horse maybe wanting to come play back here. Hey! Now I don't got hay to eat, but you want to make a special appearance? Come on in. So we are walking. The road has turned into this nice. Oh, check out them purple boys. Um, nice little packed sand, packed beach road type stuff. Really, pretty nice. It's not terrible. So, I think we are seven miles in for the day. No clue where we're trying to get. We did our handled our business, made it to the post office, made it back to trail, and now. I don't know. Uh, you know what? It'd be nice to set up. I think I might make it a short day. Make sure I'm set up before the Skeeters get out, before the sun goes down. That golden hour that is one of my favorites to hike in, whether it be morning or night, is just, oh, atrocious out here. The bugs tear you apart. So, I think I just saw a snake. Um, something rippling in that water over there. Um, oh, shit. I don't know if y'all heard that. I just walked right in a daggone puddle looking for a daggone snake. Uh, I don't forgot what I was saying. Oh, oh sneaky snake. Threw me off, threw me off. But if I remember, I'll let you know what I was even talking about. The flies in this section. Oh my, oh my, they're not playing. They're not playing. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the bugs. I'm trying to get set up before, um, before the bugs go crazy. So maybe, let's call it an early day. And at five o'clock, plop on down and just use time i don't like using time or distance I, you know when i feel like i'm done hiking i like to be done hiking and set up my tent and go from there uh, but i guess i can check the map and see all right we've made it to the park we got barrett hopping the gate because it's a little flooded over at the uh style so, quick easy hop. We are actually on some double track, which is a nice, another nice change. This is a little more sturdier and softer than the sand beach pack road, which is good. Either way, it's not hard pack right, pavement. Look at this cool sign, guys. Tell you where the trailhead is and all this stuff. I'm heading northbound. This is for the southbounders. Isn't that cool? So here we be. This is what I'm following. Double blaze. Top right. Let's go right. Let's get it. Uh, so I just walked out of the 
Oh, shoot. I don't know where I'm at, guys. I don't know. Oh. Kissimmee River Public Use Area. Yates Marsh. I'm at Yates Marsh. That's where it's at. So I'm at Yates Marsh, and I just walked past the trailhead coming out of the park, coming out of the marsh, and uh, there's a gentleman there checking out the trailhead map. And I just uh, give him a shout. Hey, how you doing? He said, hey. And I walk up, and he's like, do you have a YouTube channel? I said, yeah. He's like, I looked at your Florida trail the other day. So that was my first YouTube notice experience. That was kind of cool. That's never happened before. I've never really YouTube before, so it makes sense. Uh, I just wanted to share that. That was kind of cool. So, guys, if you guys could please like and subscribe, comment, hit the bell for notifications, watch all the videos if you want. It surely helped the channel uh, because this channel is to grow um, the hiking community, grow the culture of the hiking community, and surely to try and get more hikers of color onto these long distance backpacking trails. Uh, and definitely making this page active and getting into the algorithm would surely help everyone to get more information on hiking, to know that there's hikers of color out here actually hiking. And that's it. And if I ain't hiking, who is? It must be me. It must be me. So it can be you. And I wish it is you. I wish you get on and get out to hike. And you want to go on and go on and hike? Go on and hike. Ain't nothing holding you back except your mind. Except your mind. That's it. You can just unbind your mind, figure out what you want to do, and you can go on and do that. Whatever that is, it ain't got to be hiking. But whatever it is you want to do, let go of a couple things and focus on one thing. All right, everybody. Here we are. Mile 178. Looks like 50 Cal says it's not raining. So, go ahead and put the umbrellas down. Got a little drizzle. Uh, yeah, it's clearing up here. So, we are back on trail. We just walked through a lovely sloth. S-L-O-U-G-H. However you want to say it. Slow, sleuth, sloth, whatever. This is nice to be back on trail. So, it's not as wet as the swamp, but pretty wet as it's been raining like crazy for the past five days straight. Uh, I was talking to this guy in Okeechobee. And he was telling me, Mr. Danny, he said in all the 75 years of his life that he'd been living in Okeechobee, he's never seen weather or the skies like this. So, something's going on down here in this time of season. And we're just trudging through. I'm gonna put this tag on umbrella. I guess I'd do it one-handed. What's well, cool, is it goes under my butt but my hat is in there right now and we're back hands free it's wet as hell i'm trying to keep my feet dry but might as well just go for it because it's yeah here we are we're just in it we're in it But this is the day. I think we're only going to go another two miles um, because the next 10 miles will be coming up towards a road. Um, so I think in two miles would be a good stopping point. It'll be 
almost 5, 5.30. Sun goes down about 5.50, 6 o'clock, so... Um, she's not too high up there. So we'll go another two miles, get camp set up, and not be too close to the road and get after it tomorrow. There's a spot. Rick, look at that stuff. There's a country store. Uh, there's an option tomorrow. Tomorrow, it, when we get to road 98, we're gonna do a five mile road walk. But in the middle of that five mile road walk, there's a store that serves hot food. Or we can do the five miles of trail and miss the hot food but it'll probably be trail like this. So it's either if we want a road walk and hot food or trail and wet feet, but not banged up feet. So we'll see. Y'all, this loss is cool. Remind me of like an old corn maze or something. something. You got blazes here. This is nice. The ground is super soft, which is definitely a change for the last 130 miles. That's super nice. You can hear the bounce, the squish. It is ultra wet, nothing you can do about that. But we, well, there is something you can do about it. Walk right through it walk right through it and that's what we're gonna do oh this is a cool big oak tree this is nice all right big oak everybody looks like they take a break right there um we're definitely gonna call it a shorter day um after seeing what the trail has turned into we're gonna get to this trailhead up here and try and find some camping early because if we get to another sloth around nighttime camping, just will probably be wet. So we're gonna hike, I think it's only 0.8 more miles to the trailhead and start looking for something to set up. Um, just don't wanna be dark, wet, dark and wet looking for camp this evening. It's supposed to be another um, thunderstorm about eight o'clock. So it'd be nice to be in the tent, the brand new tent that I'm positive will keep us dry at least for whew, five or 600 miles is usually how long it's solid for. But like I was saying earlier, me and 50 caliber, both six foot tall. So I make sure to guy it out tight, which is where the seams bust at. Um, I don't think it's user error because the guy outs are there for extra length and they just start to bust at the seams and it gets wet inside the tent, which is not fun, right at your head and toe. And it just fills up the tent very quickly. Whew. All right. This is a nice change of pace. There's definitely some wind blowing in. Blowing something in, which is nice because it's sticky out. Today is the first day. I've caught a couple hot spills, busted a couple little sweats, but nothing where it's like, okay, I'm sweating all day and that's been today but luckily and fortunate it's been some drip drops on the forehead and, well not on my forehead I keep the umbrella out but a little rain to cool you down and there's definitely a breeze with it I don't know if you can yeah there you go check it out there's the breeze so I'll give you, I think I'm gonna take my hair out. It's, uh, this served its purpose. I think we're gonna let it, let it ride free. 
let the fro get a couple of miles out here. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. But camp is coming up soon. And I'm a little bit excited for it. Get to camp early, hang out. We'll watch a couple of the Avatar episodes tonight. And we'll plan on if we're gonna road walk or sloth walk tomorrow. I'll keep you posted.